Well, Mark Ridley Thomas, he made his first appearance in federal court, although it was via video conference, as you mentioned, with his attorney. He appeared um, with his attorney in his attorney's office, and that hearing just wrapped up that arraignment moments ago. But a couple highlights. Uh, the government had been pushing for a $100,000 secured third-party bond. They wanted that amount. In the end, the judge ruled differently. She lowered that amount to $50,000. She also said that Ridley Thomas would not require any supervision at this time, but she did put a couple things in place. She said that he should avoid all contact with victims and witnesses pertaining to this case. Also, that he avoid all contact with any co-defendants except in the presence of his attorney, Ridley Thomas. He entered a not guilty plea today. LA City Councilman Mark Ridley Thomas facing corruption charges in federal court. He appeared via Zoom today for his arraignment following a vote by LA City Council leaders to suspend Ridley Thomas in his alleged bribery scheme where he's accused of trying to use county money in exchange for perks for a family member. For the record, that will be 11 eyes and three no's. This item is adopted. According to an indictment, Ridley Thomas allegedly conspired with a former dean of USC School of Social Work in exchange for a full tuition scholarship and paid professor for that relative. LA City Councilman Mike Bonin, who voted against any action at this time, including suspension, hailed Ridley Thomas as a dedicated community leader who's innocent until proven guilty, arguing he could be exonerated in this federal case or have charges dropped against him. It is important to give him the benefit of the doubt and the opportunity to defend himself before we rush to judgment and before we take such a severe and punitive action without any evidence and without any defense. Councilman Mark Lee Thomas has a right to due process, and that should take place in a court of law, not in the council chambers. This week, the LA County Board of Supervisors also unanimously approved an independent investigation into contracts that are tied to these corruption charges when Ridley Thomas served on the Board of Supervisors. LA County Sheriff Alex Villanueva has been outspoken on Ridley Thomas's alleged role in this federal investigation. He spoke out again on this matter. I've said that the LA County Board of Supervisors is the most corrupt government, local government entity in the entire nation, and I... I stand by that, as, that assessment, and this, this only is a further confirmation of that. Ridley Thomas has maintained his innocence, vowing to fight the federal charges against him. His wife tweeted ahead of today's council vote, very serious allegations have been made against my husband. We have faced many false allegations over his many years of service. He deserves to be treated fairly and with respect. And regarding today's LA City Council vote, well, Ridley Thomas released this statement saying, I am humbled by the support of my colleagues who did not rush to judgment and disappointed in those who did. I will continue fighting to clear my name, and I remain confident that such will be the case. But in the interim, the council has disenfranchised the residents of the 10th District. Ridley Thomas's next court date is set for mid-December. That's the latest in downtown Los Angeles. Kareen Winter, KTLA 5 News.